Magna Charistia is spoken from the point of view of brother John Clynn, a medieval monk of Kilkenny who witnessed the horror of the Black Death in 1349. Clynn himself was writing a chronicle and it seems that he thought the end of the world was coming as well as his own death. He breaks off the chronicle with these words, I leave parchment to continue this work. If perchance any man survive and any of the race of Adam escape this pestilence and carry on the work which I have begun. The manuscript ends with the two words magna charistia, which I translate at the end of the poem. Magna charistia. Lord, your work is now reversed. No cock crows spit out the bloody dawn. Wheat whispers like fields of glittering wasps. The fruits of orchards hang down fat and untested. We crumble to the dust from which we were once born. How can all this dying bring redemption? How will you burn us into angels with skin of gold of the light of sun from blackened bodies dumped in wells? Forgive my doubts of heaven amid the sweet miasma of this hell. Who will survive to shoot memories from age to age like swallows joining distant countries? Who will preserve fire, earth, snow, the first green shivering of trees, the flow of pilgrims to the barrow. The reason that you made us, surely, was to witness your creation. Without us, what will be your purpose as you walk around your garden in eardrum silence, echoes of the hoos of death spreading on and on? Each night my sleep is beating over what my being has amounted to, beyond cold vigils, chanting, the isolation of beatitude, always giving thanks and never doubting why so much of it was due. I gave my youth to find your paradise within this cell and cloister. Now every little sacrifice flares and rages, has stripped me to a pair of jittery, fiery eyes skidding off corpses everywhere. Lord, for years I have been dying, leached white by sterile days, lackluster nights. Instead of trying to exorcise the haze of tepid piety, instead of crying out for grace, I mouthed your praise, while desperate to feel your fire in me, yet dreaded it, resisted till the kiss of apathy or warm embrace of fickleness would welcome my return to the familiar chapel of my emptiness. You could have driven me pure, transfigured me with light. One vision, just one, would have made sure this life of yours was really mine. Each day, like a dog, I waited for your unmistakable sign. And now it comes as flaming blood distilling fear to keener fear, and no escape. No arc bobs on the flood of this fetid, waveless atmosphere. The dark age has come. God, deliver me, prepare my soul. The world's light darkens. The future tunnels to the past. This blank paper is my afterlife a token of the hope I've lost. Lord, start again. Make the earth afresh from this great dearth. <laughs>